We are in an era of increasing privacy concerns. Apple's privacy framework has had huge effects on the mobile world, and we're now all bracing for a shift to cookie-less web browsing. Marketing leaders face new challenges trying to understand where their marketing spend is most effective and if they should be investing or divesting funds. Until now, marketers could primarily use last-click attribution to understand which marketing campaigns drove the best results. But with these new privacy constraints, marketing leaders have to find new ways to understand what works and what doesn't. Enter marketing mix modeling. It's a framework first used back in the 1950s by big consumer brands. Today, it's become popular with cloud native businesses and any business that has a mix of online and offline advertising. Why? Well, a big advantage to Triple M, as it's commonly referred to, is that it does not require any attribution data. Instead, it uses complex modeling techniques to understand the effectiveness of marketing investments. But with today's software solutions, that complex modeling is made easy. In today's demo, we'll help you better understand Pecan's approach to Triple M and how you can apply it to your business to improve outcomes. Let's start by pulling up Pecan's Triple M dashboard and take a look at a couple of the key benefits of this approach. Budget insights are one of the most helpful features in Triple M. Here, we have an easy to understand visual that compares the budget percentage and the effect percentage for any given entity. What is an entity? Well, that's up to you. Entities usually represent a combination of geography and channel, but these are customizable based on how you make your budget decisions. You can also customize your target. For example, in this demo, we're not modeling to see how marketing affects revenue, but instead how it impacts the number of expected conversions to paying customers. With Pecan, we can model custom combinations of entities and targets. So how do you interpret these results? Let's start by taking a look at Apple Search. Here, we can see that the budget is 57%, but the effect, the impact, is 58%. This is good because the budget and its effect are close to one another. What you want to look out for are imbalances in either direction. For example, with Facebook, the budget is 20%, but the effect is 10%. This is a channel where you should consider decreasing your spend as you're not getting the impact you should be. Let's take a look at one more. Here's another gap. Looking at Google, it has 22% of the budget, but 29% of the effect. This is a channel you should consider increasing your ad spend in because you're underinvested. Now, what would happen if we shifted our budgets in the future? For that, let's check out the simulator. Many of our customers have been chasing growth at all costs for years. Today, they're looking for areas where they can reduce spend while minimizing the impact on the business. The simulator is great for understanding the impact of shifting budgets. Remember, in this Triple M dashboard, effect refers to the number of conversions to paying customers. So we want to reduce our CPAs and increase the effect while also keeping the simulated budget at the historical average of 269,000 per week. So here's our average effect of 6,600, and here is our average CPA of 41. Well, we can see the CPAs vary based on channel. We see that Facebook has the highest. Let's start by removing 14K of budget from Facebook and adding 14K of budget to Snapchat, which has a far lower CPA. Here we'll adjust this to 48,000, and here we will increase to 16,000. As you can see, the budget's actually coming in slightly below the average budget, but we've increased the simulated effect close to 10,600 and reduced the simulated CPA down to 25. This translates to a roughly 40% improvement in effect by shifting from Facebook to Snapchat, all while maintaining the same budget. That's the beauty of the simulator. You get a forward-looking view into how future budget allocation decisions will impact your marketing results. Now, please note that we can customize these views based on how you control your marketing spend. For example, instead of modeling on CPAs, we could have modeled on predicted revenue. So, how do you compare a channel's effectiveness against itself? Well, for that, let's take a look at the last feature we'll highlight in today's demo, saturation curves and carryover effects. Saturation curves tell a story of a channel's effectiveness that changes with varying levels of investment. The carryover effect is the amount of budget that has a lasting effect into the next period. Imagine someone seeing an ad on Google in February 
who doesn't get around to making a purchase until March. So let's use Google as an example. On the x-axis, we have budget, including carryover effect, and on the y-axis, we have saturated value. Think of saturated value as a normalized way of viewing the impact of budget on target. In this case, that's paying users. Here, you can see as the budget increases past 40,000, that the line starts to flatten out. What this means is that you need a higher amount of budget in order to get the same response from the market. Ideally, the curves look more like what you see with TikTok, where it almost seems to be going straight up without showing any flattening. Even when you zoom in, you can see that it doesn't quite yet appear to be flattening out. Now, we could have reached the same conclusion by looking at the Budget Insights tab and seeing that TikTok has 1% of the budget, but 3% of the impact. This is the benefit of Triple M. It gives you many ways of analyzing performance so you can best allocate your budget based on your strategy and the outcomes you need. This is a short demo, but what I hope stands out is that PCAN offers a powerful, customizable Triple M solution that is designed around how you want to manage and optimize your budget. Expertise is built into the product as demonstrated by the robustness of our solution. Now, there are many other benefits of our approach, but the point I want to stress is that we have designed this for actionability and comprehension. We are here to help you realize the value of predictive analytics with PCAN.